in airplane mode, I don't need no drama Dress is pulling up. Ugh. I'm still flying. I'm on a two day trip. So I deaded him from New York and now I'm in. Oh god, I'm in Detroit. So I was trying to say earlier, I am. I deaded in from. JFK to Detroit There's nobody behind me or in front going on a plane to you know do my checks and stuff like that so I Just wanted to check in with you guys and see how are you guys doing mentally during this time and um, My company is trying their best, you know to help us out during this time um when I walked into JFK, I had to do, they had to check my temperature and stuff like that to see if everything is okay and I'm clear to fly. So yes, all is well and I'm here. So when I get to my hotel, I will sit down and speak to you guys a little bit more. So let's go. So now, I know I said I was gonna talk to you guys when I get to my hotel, but being that I'm early, I'm like, let me just talk. Uh, now it's mandatory that we all wear a mask on the aircraft during, when you're in the airport, on the plane, you should have your mask on at all times. At all times you should have your mask on. Um, yeah, and what the airlines are doing now uh if you're not a family member or something no one is supposed to be sitting next to you i think what they're doing now it's every other seat they make sure someone is sitting or if it's a semi-full aircraft like these type of aircraft no one could sit in the aisle the one with the three rows on each side no one can sit in the middle so you know everyone is apart from each other and they don't have to worry about anything during this time I'm just asking you guys to please be safe you know wash your hands and stuff like all that good stuff in order to stay safe during this time but comment down below guys and tell me like how you guys have been how is everything going with you guys during this pandemic like are you going through anything mentally? Is there anything that you guys need to talk about? Just comment down below. Oh, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Oh my god, guys, I know I'm rambling, but the other day I was vlogging for you guys. I was vlogging how the airport looks and everything. I might insert some of the footage, but my hair was a mess. I was looking at the footage. I was like, I'm not going to put this out. <laughs> so... 
yeah now I'm like I have to vlog for you guys because I haven't vlogged in a while so yes I am still flying and um, they do have leaves from work for you to take just in to help the company through this time oh my god guys like during this time so many airlines are going through it financially I'm just asking for you to pray for your flight attendants for your airline industry people because we're going through it man like uh, the airlines they're they have to sacrifice a lot and come in October a lot of us may not have any jobs you know and it's really sad and I really hope that everything goes back to normal and I hope everything picks back up because it's gonna be a really devastating time by the end of the year to see what people are gonna go through financially and I'm really hoping the government really find a way to help us out because man we did not expect this like 2020 was supposed to be everybody's year like 2020 we was like yes we made i made a vision board i was like 2020 is my year and i was gonna correct some mistakes that i made last year and i was gonna try and get on my financial grind and then then january came i was like yeah okay then february came and then boom the whole coronavirus thing happened and man <sighs> during this time i'm just really i'm really praying for everybody that we make it out of this okay financially mentally physically etc etc like i'm really praying for us to get back on our feet during this time because trust me it's rough and i just feel bad because a lot of my peers like went to different airline and now they might not even get to work in that airline coming a few couple months down the line it's just like you know what i mean it's sad imagine you waiting all your life for this dream job and then you finally get it and then things are going well then boom this happened and now you're like set back man i just it's just really sad and not just the airline industry i know it's not just the airline industry that's going through it financially i know the small businesses oh my god the small businesses are going through it i know financially because you know they're really trying and now you don't have any money to pay your workers you know what i mean you gotta like really look into plan b and although the government is giving um in the states actually is giving um extra money with the unemployment for a lot of people that's not even what they were taking home so for some people it's like a huge cutback for them you know what i mean like especially people with like for a kid like with a lot of kids you know what I mean like man it's just really a lot like that's going on right now and I'm just really praying guys I am praying let us pray that everything go back to normal because trust me I just it's just it's sad you know it's really sad like hearing all these stories and people are trying to take leave to save the company man I'm just it's just really sad and and I hope guys you guys are not stressing try and go out for a little walk in the morning time like early in the morning when nobody not that much people on the road just to clear your mind and not just be in the house and like your mind getting all clouded that's what I've been doing because I'm trying to lose weight so I've been going out every day to work out to clear my mind to take a walk get in some fresh air but I go early so that it's less crowded and when you go to the park you have to wear your mask and stuff so I'm staying I'm keeping my distance and I'm staying you know protected with my mask and stuff like that and yeah it's just man I really wish that I could just I had magic to just go like this and everything could go back to normal because trust me who would have thought like this was everybody's year like 2020 was everybody's year everybody's year everybody's year everybody was like 
we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and then man i really hope at by the end of the year something turn around for all of us and we could get back on track in what we what we're doing the goals that we had the goals that we had set out and i hope 2021 is a better year than 2020 man but enough rambling um i hope you guys are okay otherwise mentally and yeah i'm still flying as i've said before most of flights have been empty yeah i was gonna when i walked in today and when they were doing the screening to check our temperatures and stuff like that i was gonna vlog it but then i'm like i don't know if i would get in trouble so i didn't chance it so it is what it is i just left it at that so i'm just here on the plane waiting for my crew to come on so that we could see who wants to work the front or who wants to work back and then we could go from there so now we're heading to albany and then tomorrow i come back to detroit and then back to new york and i'm home going home going home going home going home yeah so just here waiting i guess i'll catch you back guys back when i get to the hotel see you in a few good morning guys i meant to get back to you guys when i get to the hotel but i was so tired but i just wanted to show you how empty the airport is like the checkpoint the checkpoint is empty everything is closed in the airport and on the aircraft we're only given like care packages with like water and like cheese it's and stuff so if you're hungry and you're traveling please get your food and stuff before you even come in but you can't take drinks through the checkpoint so yeah there is some places that are open like um uh like those stores um that sells like water chargers like shirts and stuff like that like those are open and just in case of an emergency they have medications and everything so of course those are open because those are essential but as for certain food places they're closed um i'm in albany new york right now and the only thing that's open is dunkin donuts so if you're hungry and traveling get your stuff before you come to the airport anyways i'll see you guys when i get to detroit mm -hmm. So empty. Jeez. So guys, made it to Detroit, um, don't worry, I hand sanitized my hands and everything. So Detroit might look full, but that's because they have to reroute people to travel through here so that they could get to go where they need to. So Detroit is a little full than any other airport. So yeah, 
<laughs> last day go home day and yeah vlog so i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button don't forget to like comment subscribe and comment down below how are you guys dealing with the pandemic and how are you guys mentally like what's going on do you guys need somebody to speak to just let me know just comment down below and i'll be here to talk to you guys thank you guys so much for watching have a blessed day stay safe and keep positive bye